hello welcome to a very special video i am so excited about this one this is a collaboration with a bunch of other resellers with youtube channels that um i watch them i have been watching them since i started on this i've learned so much from them um and now that i have a work from home job they keep me company and entertained during the tedious hours of work so i'm super excited about that uh if you watch this type of videos you probably already subscribe to all of them but if you don't check out their links below check out their fall videos subscribe look at their whole library of videos you will you will thank me later it's this is the fall fashion back to school video uh, but of course it's not fall yet and i live in las vegas so if you don't mind oh that's, that'll work better for the rest of this video. I am focusing on fall classics. I am not a huge follower of trends. I like a classic piece that I can buy this year because I love it and wear it again next year and the year after and the year after that. Um, and there are some tweaks to a certain classic uh, styles, of course, that will make it more current. But uh, for the most part, you will have them for as long as they fit you and until they fall apart. Uh, so the number one we're going to start with is the booty. I love booties. You cannot go wrong with booties. I actually don't think I own any booties of my own. Um, and that's partially because when I find a good booty that I want, I think, hmm, but I could sell it and I want that money more than I want the booties. Um, so these booties are Foliana booties. This is an Italian brand. I've never heard of it before, but that's a nice booty and it can be yours for $339. This booty, which actually I love, definitely my style, definitely not my size. And it is the Earth Origins booty. It's burgundy with a sort of New Mexico style blankety thing going on. And that is available in my closet for $40. I do have other booties in my closet and I have a box full of booties and boots uh, to list. So keep checking if you're looking for something like that. Um, I am now strictly listing fall and winter stuff. If I find anything that's more springy in summer, I'm just putting it on the back burner so I can get this stuff listed. The next, um, and I didn't come up with this list willy nilly. I did a search of like the, the top classic autumn fall uh, categories. So next is the um, the boxy sweater. The boxy sweater is great because when it gets chilly out, um, you kind of want to be wrapped in a blanket all the time. And the boxy sweater kind of accomplishes that. So this is a brand called Favorite Daughter. It's beautiful. It's a wool blend and it is only $348. Or, you can come to my closet and see this Rachel Zoe, which is also a wool blend. Shorter in the front than in the back. Super comfy. And I have that listed at $30. The third category is the tote. Tote bag. Now, a small purse will get you through the summer. Um, you don't need to carry much in the summer. Your wallet, your phone, your sunglasses, maybe some sunscreen you're me um but in the winter or in the fall you need a little more space you might want to carry a sweater with you um for when it gets cooler and later in the day uh you might want to throw some gloves in there a scarf um this tote is a brand called Sh i don't know if it's shinola or shinola um it is only 595 dollars it's a lovely tote and will probably last you a long time. Uh, but 
as I said, it's $595 for a tote bag. I have a couple of bags that fit that category. I have a Kate Spade bag that's sort of a purse, but it's large, like tote size. Um, but I'm going to show you this one. It's my favorite. It is a Tien Anye, and it is, it's technically a laptop bag. But look how pretty it is and classy. There is no reason why this should be limited to being a, t a laptop bag. Put a laptop in it, don't put a laptop in it. You still have a very functional, practical, yet beautiful piece. Um, and it's listed at only $35. I'm very tempted to keep this one, but uh, I already have a, another laptop bag and anyway, we'll see. I'm going to try to sell it, obviously, because that's that's what I'm here for, right? The fourth category is the leather jacket. Well, I think the leather jacket has its place year round, depending on where you live. You have your unlined leather jackets that you would throw on in the evening if it gets cooler. I don't live in one of those places. And yet, uh, I could go somewhere, uh, like a casino, where they're, not that I go there anymore, um, where they are blasting the air and you need something. And, and yes, you could bring a, a leather jacket with you, but it is perfect for the fall, perfect. And since men have fall fashions too, this category, I'm just going to show a man's jacket. This beautiful jacket is a uh, brown suede. It's it's a, a field jacket and it's by Brooks Brothers. The original price of it was $12.98. Yeah, $12.98. Oh, but it's on sale for $599.99. What a deal. That's like half price. Um, or you could come to my closet. I love this jacket. Okay, this is, I mean, it's Calvin Klein. It is a washable suede. Like, I did not know this existed until recently. I have a woman's jacket as well that's a suede jacket. It's more of a, like, a shirt jacket, I think. Actually, I don't even remember. Uh, but I do have that choice for you, for women as well. Um, so this is washable suede. It's just a standard, um, I would say, bomber style. It's so soft. It just feels so good. And I have that listed on Poshmark for $50 for a washable suede jacket. Zips up. It's fantastic. The final category I have for the for this list is the is the long coat. When I was young, when I would get my winter coat, it was so exciting for me. I loved getting my winter coat of the year. Um, but when I wore when had to get a winter coat, it was a warm warm coat, like heavy. Um, a fall coat would be more of a, a lighter weight one and it would be something that in different places you would use year round when I lived in California I got a coat and my friend and I both got the same coat and we called it our California coat because it's not a warm coat compared to what we had grown up with um, I, you know, that would work for me here year round. An autumn coat would work for me year round. So I'm actually, the examples I'm showing you are a trench coat, which is a subcategory of the coats. Um, and a trench coat never goes out of style, ever. Um, I have a few choices, even the vintage ones. I'm showing you a vintage one that as far as I, 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 I'm concerned, does not look dated at all. So the, of course there's the, epitome of trench coats Burberry this is the long Waterloo heritage it's gorgeous uh, and it's only two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars I would not have guessed that that's how I, I I don't shop luxury brands like that but I would not have guessed that um, I had a Burberry trench coat in my closet at one point that I sold for around 200 and only now do I realize, wow, what a deal was that? Um, but gorgeous, you can't go wrong with it. If you have $2,350 to spend on a trench coat, that's your, that's your coat, um, but I don't. So this, from my closet, is a vintage coat, 
It is drizzle. I'm not, I have a, I have another long coat that is a black velvet one and it's I think Talbot's for drizzle. Um, and I, so I think that was a drizzle, I think that was a department store. This one just says drizzle. Very classic, it has that like cape in the back and the things here. Um, it's a, it's a like a nylon-y though. Um, and I have it listed at $50 on Poshmark. So there is not anything out there in the designer trendy world that you cannot find for a better, for an affordable price on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, uh, all the reselling sites. So if you are looking for that sort of thing, check out my closet, check out the closet of those people. You will find everything you need to, to start a fresh season. Put those tank tops away. Summer is a boring season for dressing, as far as I'm concerned. Love fall, and of course, a sixth category could have been Halloween. I mean, because who doesn't love buying Halloween stuff? And you can start wearing it. Uh, I think I started wearing Halloween-y things October 1st when I worked in a regular job. I'd start like putting pumpkin pins on and stuff like that. Anyway, that is it. There are some kids that have already gone back to school, but yes, it is back to school fall time. That is what you should be shopping for. That is what you should be thinking about. And thank you for stopping by. And again, please visit the other uh, the other um, YouTubers and comment. Tell them you came from Elaine's channel if you came here first. All right. Thank you. And I will see you on the next one.